where we're just about two miles down from the site of the coal ash spill. Yesterday afternoon, the latest reports we heard was it was kind of on and off again um, as they were trying to find a temporary fix to the, the coal ash that's coming out of a, uh, apparently a pipe. Um, right into the Dan River. There's no telling how much damage this is going to cause in the future. And even right now, the fact is that there's no way to know how much damage has been done. We're getting some sediment samples. We're getting samples of the of the water so that we can measure uh, metals content, the kind of stuff that you worry about, the pollutants in the coal ash. Um, you can see there's this, there's kind of the reddish sand, which is the normal sediment, and then there's this gray layer about an inch, inch deep of this just gray stuff here. I mean, there's something like a, a third of the, the periodic table in coal ash. Uh, uh, the ones that you tend to worry about are things like arsenic, uh, selenium. Selenium is one of those ones that biomagnifies up the food chain as, you know, bigger uh, organisms eat smaller ones. So that's the that's a worry, um, you know. Thallium, some weird ones. Thallium, antimony, uh, stuff you haven't really heard since your your college chemistry class. There are dozens of these open pits across North Carolina, and most of them are by riverways and waterways like this river, and. It's extremely risky. Uh, this is one of the power plants, one of the seven that's actually recently been shut down by Duke Energy. Um, but it actually illustrates a problem that we've been really concerned about, which is that uh, they don't really have a closure plan. So when they, they what they did was just convert this plant to natural gas. Um, so they don't really need the coal ash ponds anymore, but they don't really have a closure pl uh, plan. So it's just sitting there waiting for something like this to happen. They all pose a threat that they could spill at one point into a river or leach into our groundwater and we wouldn't know it. news is just last week uh, we're part of a lawsuit a bunch of other groups we just reached a settlement with the EPA to get a final uh, coal ash rule by December 19th of this year so hopefully this will light a fire under EPA to do something substantive to really make sure that this this kind of stuff doesn't happen. Duke Energy should be investing in clean safe renewable energy like solar power that doesn't spill into rivers like this one. This is a really serious problem for the people in Dan River. The people of North Carolina and the people of Charlotte are here to stand in solidarity with those who are calling for better. We know this company can do better and we are going to continue to demand that. This is from Duke Energy's website. We are confident that each of our ash ponds has the structural integrity necessary to protect the public and the environment. Our question is simple. What about the Dan River?